Bishopstone playing street league soccer. Liverpool were big. I think they came to Flower Lodge, the old Parky Ring. Now I think it is um, in Cork, and there was massive excitement in Cork at the time. Which I think was it Ronnie Wheel and the Mole being fellas like this coming to to Cork was a big deal for young fellas. And ever since then I followed them. It's been um, you know a long time now. I suppose nearly what, tw 25, 27 years supporting Liverpool. So it's. Uh, it's been a long time and it's, I suppose it's similar to my own um, career, a, a roller coaster of emotions. I remember, um, geez, my heart being broken for the, was it Michael Thomas scoring in the 89th minute against, and then he joined us, I think, a few years la later, but that was probably one of the vivid memories I have that was tough. I, I just kind of, I suppose I've been a little bit more old school than by Rush and Barnes and Maudby. These fellas were probably fellas I admired, Steve McMahon, I think. Um, so an, an awful lot of uh, probably the older generation of players, but then you look at the at the heartbeat of the team now and Gerrard seems to have done it for 10 years and he'd be a sports person I admire hugely because I think his drive and his passion for the game is something that as a professional sportsman I admire hugely and you can see he gets the best out of his teammates too and there's a vibe there when he doesn't play. Sport Liverpool since 1989. Um, I suppose what got me into it was all the Irish guys that were on the Liverpool team at the time. Ireland was going well, Liverpool were going well. I'm sure you had um, Ray Houghton, Steve Staunton, Ronnie Whelan was the captain. Um, so John Aldridge as well, you know. So I think I was like many a young kid that time. Certainly from a female perspective, I often get looks of shock and amazement when I say I'm a big Liverpool fan and you know I love to go to matches and watch um, the, the matches on TV. And um, you know, I'm, I'm just really proud to, to love the game. I know the offside rule and a lot of girls can't say that. Um, and it's, it's something I enjoy. You know, I, I love watching the games with my family or, or going over to Anfield. I, I wouldn't be that mad now about watching any old team play. You know, it'd have to be Liverpool. The absolute highlight for me as a Liverpool supporter would be oh, that, that year 2005 where Liverpool won the Champions League but um, to top it off we actually got over to Istanbul to the, the Champions League final and I remember clearly at half time just saying you know this is this is a disaster I, I think we should just go home have dinner go to bed you know, you know I was sort of turning around to go tears in my eyes and then of course um, Stephen Gerrard came out um, the, the goals were scored the whole there was uproar in the stadium and I've never I've never felt such a feeling of sort of amazement it was like someone had cast a spell over the place and um, we we're all crying with tears of happiness we were just watching it in local pubs but uh I was unbelievable. The atmosphere was incredible. Just in, just in the, in the, in the pub, I can only imagine what it was like over there. The atmosphere at soccer games, like, are, are, is, is unreal. Like, it's hard to find that anywhere else now. But uh, I've never been to one of the, the bigger games with United, and I'd like to try one demo, see what the atmosphere is like for that. One Liverpool game that sticks in my mind as well is the uh, 2006 FA Cup final when they were two 0 down against West Ham, and uh, they came back to win it on penalties again. But I remember Stephen Gerrard was interviewed after the game and. He just said that uh, the spirit in the team is just to fight to the death, like, you know what I mean? Fight it until the very end. And I think if you have those qualities in any team, be it GA, soccer, rugby, whatever sport it is, um, you'll always give yourself a great chance. I started when I was six or seven years old, you know, um, watching Liverpool games. And I had a brother as well who was very much a Liverpool fan. And I suppose when they, when they had John Aldridge, Ray Houghton and players like that, there was an Irish connection as well. So um, from the early days, I was always a big Liverpool fan. Any, any time you're watching any sport, you know, and see how successful individuals or teams are, you, you, you try to uh, take that in and see if you can implement it in your own game, you know, and certainly at Liverpool, you know, when, when they were winning Champions League a couple of years ago and competing very strongly in the Premier League um, and looked at their preparation and how they, how they approach things, certainly there were things I looked at and tried to bring them into my own game. Even looking at Liverpool's situation this year, you know, the, the Start of the season hadn't gone well whatsoever, you know. But that's that's when real true fans um, sh show their true colours, you know. They st they stick with their team, get behind them, and that's the same down in Kerry as well. There are times when things aren't going for you, but um, you want to have the support always behind you, and no matter what, if it takes a little bit longer, that the fans stick with you, and and eventually you achieve your goals.